Welcome back YouTubers. Today has finally arrived. We're going to get the car outside and get it washed and see what we've got to deal with. We're a bit bummed out because the car's been in storage so long and we've taken a few of the parts out which are over there. So you see the parts. They've picked up some scratches and marks just as we've been moving the car around so we're going to have to get them repainted but that's just I guess what happens when you leave things in storage for so long. I've got a big Navi giving me hands yeah. there, he's going to be on the steering, I'm going to be the engine and we're going to get this outside, get it washed off, see what it looks like outside. Just to make double sure we get it really clean, I think we're going to give it a bit of snow foam. This is teamwork guys, this is what we call teamwork. car back inside yeah. uh, and it's looking great it's looking nice and shiny clean for but a change there's a problem there is a problem I don't, I don't think you can see this on camera but if you look really carefully there's some bubbles let me show you pass me the camera I mean this is a bit disappointing because this was uh, an expensive paint job 
do me a favour, Seth, uh, just uh, kill the lights and we might be able to pick these up better. But basically what the problem is, is we've got these tiny little bubbles all over the car. Let me see. In fact, that was a bad idea, Sam. Let me turn the lights back on because I can't see anything right now. Right, let, let me just zoom in and see if we can show you what we are talking about because... I mean it's much, right I'll be around there in a second, it's much harder to try and get these on camera than what it is to the uh, naked eye in person, you can actually see these a lot easier uh, in person than in the camera but, oh there we go, let me see if I can just get you those, there you go look, there you go, see those, I mean we've got these pretty much all over the car. We've got them on the roof, we've got them on the bonnet, we've got some on the doors. So, we're a bit bummed out because we were hoping to get this thing trimmed up and get the lights in there and get the uh, get all the doors trimmed and everything, but um, that's going to have to go on ice now. Um, but, we're going to carry on and put it together. We've been in touch with another body shop who's agreed to have a look at the paintwork, but we've uh, said it's going to be a better idea if we... Um, if we get the car built up, get the engine gearbox, uh, running gear in there, get it rolling and driving so we can drive it to the body shop. Not drive it to the body shop, take it on a trailer, but drive, you know, you know what I mean, drive, you know what I mean, don't you guys? Yeah. <laughs> drive it into the body shop uh, and we can get the paint rectified. So that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned and follow us. Um, we're going to start the tear down on the version 8 soon, get that stripped and into parts. And look at it, I mean, just I'm trying to pick these up on the bonnet. Uh, I don't know if you can see them well or not. Uh, yeah, you can just kind of make them out there. Look, there's a couple of bubbles and things and what have you. Which we're not happy about, but that's life. Um, on the upside, if we do scratch or mark the car whilst we're building it, it's not too bad now because it's going to get uh, painted over again. Uh, in the meantime, we've got a surprise new member turned up in the garage and we'll give you guys a flash preview of it, see if you can guess what it is. I would have told you, but these guys are insisting that we uh, do a reveal video and pull the sheet off and uh, yeah. show you what it is. I, I, think, I think you can make out what it is because like... You can have a guess. Yeah. You, you can have I'm a guess. So I'm going to give you three, two, I'm going to give you three, two, one quick exposure. There you go, try and guess, try and guess. We're back. Uh, and this is, uh, actually this, this is vehicle got you guys into a bit of trouble the other week, didn't it? Don't reveal it, because yeah. we'll, uh, we'll show that on the video. Yeah. We'll yeah. show that on our next video, what kind of trouble you got into, because it's kind of, as every parent will know, when you have kids, uh, it just becomes like living with the borrowers. They find stuff, claim I mean, it, Guys, look what I just found. Yeah, we did. I found a boost gauge. What should we do with it? Comment down below. It wasn't our fault. No. Actually, yeah, it was our fault. It was his fault. He told us to do it. Right, listen. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit it was my idea. It was my idea, but it, I just joined in with him. It was a joint response. It was a joint. It was mostly Sam's it was a joint responsibility thing. Listen, you've got to share the responsibility. Yeah, but, but anyway, you got into trouble and we'll show that on the next video exactly what happened. <laughs> We've got more footage coming up for you guys. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to start pulling the version 8 STI apart soon for the parts. Uh, it's a little bit too cold right now and we don't do cold, do we boys? No. We don't do cold. So as soon as it warms up a little bit, we're going to start pulling that down and you can follow us, stay tuned uh, and see how we get on with that.